Right, UBS downgrading a trio of chip makers today. Applied Materials, Lamb Research, KLA, all cut to sell. They say the rate, the run rate is peaking. It's our call of the day. Um, wow. All right, Joe. So you own Lamb Research. I do. Downgraded to sell. Keep the target at 240. Talk to me before I go more broadly on chips. I agree with this note. I am holding Lamb Research as best in breed. These names, the equipment names, are very cyclical in nature. It could clearly have a correction. I want to endure through that correction and have exposure with the company that I believe is best in breed, Lamb yeah. Research. Even though on, you agree with the note. I agree with the note. I agree with the note that it's out of place, that cyclically, okay, you could see a correction. I still want exposure to semi-equipment in case I'm wrong. On a correction, I will add, I will put Teradyne into the portfolio. It's a name that got away from me, and I lost my exposure to it. But I want the exposure, and you have to understand that as an investor, this is highly volatile. It's highly cyclical. There are moments they're going to make all-time highs like they have in the last couple of weeks. And then two weeks later, you're going to get a downgrade like this at a sell call, and you're going to get a pullback. But I'm going to endure through that. I'm not smart enough to trade my way through that. All right. Pete. Yeah. People have ridden these stocks up they have. big time. Yep. SMH's up 44% mm -hmm. year to date. Yeah. Is this the alarm bell to get out of some of these names? Uh, you know, it makes some sense to me after this big run that they have. And if we're talking about peak levels, then, then sure. I mean, I, I was just looking at my portfolio as Joe was talking. I think the only chip stock that I have any exposure to in that space right now is Intel. And I'll continue to hold on to it because when I look at where the P.E. of an Intel is right now versus the rest of many, many of the other names, at least, it's still very inexpensive. But I look at some of these names, Scott, and they've had a huge run. Absolutely massive run. It's been a great run. Pete, and I know that we materials right. up 63 percent. Huge. Well, 75 year to date. Yeah. Yeah. KLA, 81 yeah. year to date. Lamb Research, to Joe's point, 94. Mm -hmm. AMD, 115. Intel 23. Right. It's matched, you know, okay, yep. it's basically with the S&P. NVIDIA 58. Uh -huh. SMH 51. Been a great place to be, and we heard Stephen Weiss talk about the SMH all the time. He's been long, and now he's finally, I think he said the other day that he was either getting out or he'd trimmed a, a substantial amount. I think a he lot of that. Adding, 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 right. adding, and now he's. But I think that makes some sense, and that's why I say when I'm looking right now, I used to have exposure in a lot of the different names that you talked about. I, none of them are there except for Intel. And like, like you just pointed out, though, it's because of the fact that it's, it has not made the kind of move that the rest of these names have made to the upside. And I think a lot of that had to do with the transition of the CEO and all the rest of what's been going on in Intel. Same thing here, Scott. I've got nothing. Zero. Zip. Nada. Exposure to the sector right now. Out of everything, including NVIDIA. Um, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying, you know, that the paper has taken us out as far as, you know, let the upside calls take me out and so forth. The numbers are still strong, um, you know, so to Joe's point as far as what could play out, month over month, 7.9% surge in uh, the October numbers as far as the billings mm -hmm. for these uh, semi-manufacturers. That's strong. Uh, year over year, it's about 4%. Does it justify, to your point, Scott, a 50%, a 60% surge? Probably not. Um, so we'll, exact, we'll have to see how that plays out. But right now, um, I'm just waiting. 